Capital joining in for a quick chat. Paul, appreciate you taking out the time for this call. Is this a pause just before the all-important jobs report tomorrow? Is, is the market treading water? And thanks for having me. The market's certainly tr treading water. Let's not forget that since the February lows, now the major indices are up in the upper single digits, you know, seven, eight, nine percent, depending on your index. So it's been an almost straight up move with a couple of days pause here and there. This is you know, after Tuesday's big rally. This is expected. It's normal. It's healthy. Uh, I think on the Dow, as long as the Dow stays above. 16.3, you 16.4, know, 16, the path of least resistance is higher, and I think we're on target to see at least Dow 17.5 next quarter. What are you expecting from the jobs report, Paul, tomorrow? I mean, we had a very strong print from the ADP report earlier this week. Uh, what's your sense? So I I'm not a big believer that the ADP report is strongly predictive of the jobs report. Um, I don't think the job support is going to be a disaster. If it, and I also think predicting this report of all the major reports is probably the most difficult and biggest fool's errand. But I'd say it probably comes in right around you know, expectations. I, I don't think this is the big needle mover. And I, don't think for, I think regardless of what happens with this jobs report, I don't think it's going to put more pressure on the Fed either way. I think this one's going to be somewhat benign. And we'll be in this, you know, Fed watch mode, and, and you know, the Fed meetings right around the corner once again. So, Paul, finally, what is your outlook in, on risk assets, particularly on equities, right now? We started the year on a really bad note. I mean, all the, the concern around China and whether they're devaluing their currency, and then, of course, what the Fed's going to do and whether it should roll back that hike, etc. So, it's been quite a start to 2016. Given where we stand today, what's your outlook on risk assets? Can a rally continue? So I think a rally absolutely can and will continue. My caveat would be as long as the Dow stays above the 16.4, 16.3 level. And I think the rally lasts into, next, into, into the next quarter. We, could, we certainly could go higher. To me, it's not China. It's not Iran. It's not the Fed. This is all about, unfortunately, we're so correlated to oil. And while it's starting to break apart, we're still kind of beholden to oil. So if oil holds... The markets are going to hold. If oil gives it up, the markets are going to give it up. I do think, I said this in my, my 2016 forecast, I think oil puts in its you know, major decade low this year. I'm not going to go out on a limb yet and say we already saw it, but I think oil puts in its low, as does the, uh, the junk bond area, and I think you get pretty good rallies in both. Um, and finally, I'll say on oil, I think once that low is in, whether it's 25, 26, 27, it stays in a hundred percent trading range for at least three to five years, if not longer. Okay, a three and to that's five. When the correlation breaks apart with, with with U.S. equities. Okay, all right, that's quite a view. Three to five year range in oil. Thanks, Paul. Good talking to you today. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Well, that's the.